There we go. Hi, welcome back. We're streaming Pokemon, and uh, I'll, I'll admit I did not get the best, or at least the most, sleep last night, but we're streaming today. We're playing Pokemon, and I'm excited to play. Why is it not showing up on this on this feed? Showing up on the stream, but not on my monitor. Let's try selecting that input source again, shall we? There we go. Okay, only took a two attempts. Okay. Let's play some Pokemon. Now, from what I understand, realistically, there's only one thing left to do in the game, and that's the tournament that Nimona's set up. So, we're going to be doing the tournament today. I do have a couple things I think I... Oh, wait, no, I don't have them anymore on this, right. Uh, okay, so my... The space on my Switch, uh... It got a little, uh, much. Mostly just in the album. So I emptied out the album. And I kind of forgot, uh, I mean, I didn't forget, like, I transferred everything before I deleted everything. So, everything's on my computer, but, uh, I don't think I did anything off-stream that's, like, super important. I got a couple TMs that I hadn't gotten before. I think it's mostly just one, though. But it's, uh, I think it was just Mudslap somewhere. And apparently I hadn't gotten it before, but I don't remember where exactly it was. And to be honest, it's just mud slap, so I don't really think it was some anything super important. Like, it, it's literally just mud slap. Like, it, who even uses mud slap? Like, besides in the early game when you have nothing else. Oh yeah, I also leveled up my Pokemon a lot. I also got a bunch of different forms of Pokemon that I hadn't gotten before. And I've been uh, going through a certain project off stream where uh, I've been trying to organize the the boxes. Now, there is still a lot more left to do, but everything is, well, not everything, but to a certain point, a lot of the, the, the boxes are pretty well organized. It's not perfect yet, but... It's a lot better than the chaos that it was before. I still need to evolve all these Dunsparce. Maybe get a uh, another three-segment Dunsparce and then trade all of the duds away. Or just release them, I don't know. But yeah, I have a lot of Dunsparce. I also tried to do this off-stream. I tried to get a shiny Stone Jorner. It did not work. I did not get it. But I have a lot of Stone Jorner to trade away, so that's good. Like, it's a lot. Uh, it's fine. I need to change the box, though. Just to one that's full of chaos already. So it doesn't matter if I fill it up even more with chaos. Uh, probably that one. Or that one. This one. No, 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 no. Go but you go to that one, please. Thank you. Okay. So uh yeah, that's basically all that I've been working on really. Like I took a lot of the the time yesterday to try to do that, and I don't think I even got halfway through organizing. I want it I want to have a living dex at some point. But that's not going to be happening for a bit. So, for now, uh... Yeah, we all we really have to do right now is Nimona's tournament. So, we're going to be doing that today. And I also need to fix my party a little bit. Uh... Right, it's back there. 
Right, because last time we fought all the gym leaders. Right. That was last time. That was quite a few days ago, huh? I mean, not quite a few days ago, but like it was... It was a couple days plus the weekend. All right, so we are doing the tournament today, so I want to get my best Pokemon out. Not that these Pokemon are bad by any means, but they're not my main team. Oh, and I also got a Score Bunny from uh, a surprise trade because uh, that event was going on, and also apparently you can't do certain uh, events. Like the one with Charizard and Score Bunny until you've done this tournament. So that's a motivator to get the tournament done. Uh, Deerling, you can actually go, like, I don't know where, just away. Actually, I want to evolve you quick. Hang on. I'm just going to give it a bunch of candies because we have, I have a bunch of candies that I got from a bunch of dens. Just give it five large ones. I don't care. Charm? Don't care. Double edge? Sure, whatever. Get rid of takedown. Buh huh? It's evolving! Who would have thought that was possible? And it's the spring saws buck. Horn leech. I forgot that was a move. Where to bullet seed? Neat. All right, now I can fix the box situation. Oh, I still need to get get the summer one. Heck, okay. I'll do that off stream too. Again, I want to get a living dex, and part of having a living dex is getting all of the Pokemon possible, like every single form of every Pokemon. And that's going to be, it's it'll take a bit, but it's fine. Oh, I also found a shiny iron bundle. It's just, it's just metal. It's just steel. That's all, the, that's all the future Pokemon look like when they're shiny. They're just chrome. <laughs> I honestly kind of love it. But at the same time, some uh, some variances would be nice. Like between the Paradox Pokemon being shiny. I don't know. But they made all of the, the Paradox Pokemon in the other game. Like all different colors and stuff. I mean, I, I, I really like that they're all chrome, but at the same time, some variances would be nice. Oh, well. All right, let's go do this tournament. I have no idea what this thing is going to consist of. Oh, we might... I might actually get... Uh, a class done today, too. Because there is something you get for doing one of the classes in particular. There you are, Artis. Gotta go through the application process with a staffer before you can actually participate in the tournament. Oh, great. Ready for that explanation now, mister? Alright, the rules of the Academy Ace Tournament are as follows. Any student or faculty member of the academy may enter. Your opponents will be random, and only winners will advance to the next round. Opponents will be matched by lottery, and the lottery is run by the people in charge. That means you'll have no idea who you'll uh, fa uh, be facing until you meet them on the battle court. Winners, as I said, will get to advance to the next round. But lose run once, and you're knocked out. No more battles for you after that. Last trainer standing, the only person to win all of their matches will be deemed the best of all, the ace, uh, the academy's ace. Thanks very much. We hashed out the tournament rules with uh, with help from Director Clavel. 
based on the numbers of entrants, uh, number of entrants so far, you'd probably have to win four times to take it all. Only four? Oh, please, we can do that. Don't forget, you might go up against the faculty, too. They're tough stuff, so good luck and go be even tougher. The only person allowed to beat you is me. Okay. You haven't done that yet. The only person who's beaten me is Arvin, really. Please talk to me when you're ready to take part. Got it. Uh, I know who. I'm gonna have blades up front. Let's be real. Yeah. Oh, I just remembered something else I can do, but uh, that'll have to wait. Master Artist, a champion ranked trainer, right? Yup. Okay, you're registered as a contestant. Please head down to the battle court. Got it. Bam, bam. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. It's all raining and stuff. That's no good. Some of you will be certainly have heard the happy news. We have a new champion here at Yuva Academy. Yes, none other than our very own Master Artist. For real, that's amazing. Bien hecho, muchacho. Woo, way to go, champ. It gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the Academy. Today's tournament was organized by your student council president, Miss Demona, in celebration of her friend's accomplishment. I invite all of you here to see yourselves the impressive strength of our new champion. Not to mention the talents of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And of course, the superb battle prowess and acumen of our esteemed fa uh, faculty. Now, without further ado, let the Academy Ace Tournament, our school battle brawl, begin! Yay! Alright, let's jump into the first round, everyone. Who will the fates pair up today? Champion Artist will be facing... Arvin, of course. Oh, great. The person... The only person who I've lost to in this entire game. You've got to be kidding me. Up against my little champion buddy r right from the first round? So how about it, Artist? Bet you're surprised to see me in the tournament, right? Yeah, kinda. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That dumbfounded expression is what I wanted to see. See, when we went down into Area Zero, it really drove home for me how I needed to get stronger. So I've been doing some super special, super serious training with Mabostif and my team. If we ever ended up in trouble again, I want to be there fighting beside you, on the same level. So today, I'm here to win, even if it may only be by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this. Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. Oh, great. Okay, Arvin, let's see what you've got. Oh, no, it's the squirrel. I actually put up a poll earlier today asking... Oh, I'll, I want you and me to be on the same level. So I'm going af after the win and no holding back. So I held a poll earlier today... Asking who's the worst Pokemon, and this thing was on the list. I do not like Greedent. It's kind of gross, honestly. It's just a dumb, fat squirrel. Ugh. Okay, I think it stopped raining, so Bitter Blade! Oh, that did not do much at all, dang. I do like this battle music, though. It's nice. Ugh, okay, no, I'm switching out. Do I have any fighting types? Uh, I have fighting type moves. I I mean, I guess I have duck. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, let's use duck. I really should get rid of low sweep, though, in place of something else. Maybe some kind of kicking move. So 
since, you know, the legs. Like, no! Why do you have psychic fangs? Oh. Okay. Get out of here, stupid squirrel. Fat and not cute at all. Toad's cruel. Oh, great. Um... I mean, I would send you out if you had, like, if you weren't hurt so bad. And also, the ground type is a big problem. You do have Skitter Smack, and you're res... Oh, but you're weak to ground. You're resistant to grass, but... Mm. Hopefully this will be fine. I can just smack it with the hammer if worse comes to worse. Gigaton hammer. Yo! One shot! Heck yeah! Let's go villain. Uh... Okay... I could send out sodium, but that grass type is scaring me. Maybe I'll send out oinkers. Oinkers sounds good. Oinkers the reliable partner. Start with yawn, just in case this gets a little hairy for my liking. <laughs> mm, earth power would be fine. It's not great, but it'll be fine. Ooh, special defense fell. I'm gonna try not to heal during these battles because I it, it, I feel like it would be just better. I want to have some difficulty. And healing in the middle will just uh just ruin that difficulty. I feel. Garganackle. Okay. Back to duck. I like this music. It's good. Garganacle. Aquastat. Whoo! Nice. One shot. Speed road. <laughs> cloister. Did you have a cloister before? I don't remember you having cloister. Maybe you did. Low sweep. Ooh. Nah. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, get out here. Yeah! My boss staff. I'm putting everything I've got into this. No regrets allowed. No leftovers after this meal. Okay. I'm not too scared. Although that attack lowering was not great. I'm gonna keep using low sweep for now. Let's light up this school battle brawl, my boss stiff. Brighter than anybody. Oh no, it's terrestrializing. Have you always been able to terrestrialize, like you in particular? If... Maybe you were in the last battle we had with each other. I'm not sure. Speed fell. 
Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Uh, okay. If Duck goes down, that's fine. Not super worried because, like, that—that's a low amount of health that it has left. As long as my Pokemon get healed in between battles, like they usually do with these kinds of tournaments and stuff, I think I'll be fine. But if they don't heal me in between battles, uh oh. <laughs> Seed bomb. Well, you knocked out one of my Pokemon, and that was mostly because I was being careless. You're so strong and cool. I'm really proud to call you my best friend, you know? Aw, thanks, Arvin. You're a good friend of mine, too. And the winner of the first round is... Champion Artist. Yeah! Yeah, he, he kind of thought, I guess. I mean, he knocked out one of my Pokemon. What, spicy start? And that's only the first match. Who? the strength of a champion is legit. It hurts to lose, but I'm proud of you, little buddy. Maybe I should think about going around to all those gyms myself sometime. Better try just as hard as I would have in round two for me. Next up in the second round. I'm sure you're ready to hear the matchup, so let's get to it. Champion Artist will be facing... Jacques! Oh, great. Hello, hello, Artist. I hear you went out on your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. That's quite the achievement. I guess I'm the homeroom teacher for two champion rank students now. Oh, yeah, Nimona, right. I won't lie. I'm feeling a wee bit of pressure here. Gotta work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Well then, let's get started, shall we? Here's hoping I do okay. I would assume the biology teacher would have some pretty good Pokemon too. Not sure what to expect from this battle, though. Arcanine! Okay. Show me what you've got. In your own way and at your own pace. Okay, good. My Pokemon are healed in between battles. Good. That would be a very scary tournament to do. <laughs> Psycho Cut. Oh, that did not do much. <laughs> yes, keep doing that. Keep doing exactly that. I would like to sweep all of your Pokemon with my fire moves. I'm going to keep Blades out just because of that. Because I want to see that. Like, the sheer power of that. Of my fire moves being ri uh, risen like that. Shadow Claw. Uh, uh, hang on. Sorry. I'll be right back. Uh... Yeah, I'll just be right back. Just give me a minute. Okay. Uh. Hi, I'm back. Uh, I'll... I just have to remember to do something later. It's fine. Uh, Mudsdale, huh? Oh, frick. Really? Now? Fine, I'll switch. I'll switch. Mudsdale, though, huh? I guess I could use Oinkalone because he has the Seed Bomb move. This will work. Especially with the rain. The rain is actually benefiting me very much. <laughs> Now, Duck has the speed boost, which is good. Lurantis? Uh... Okay, grass type. I mean, you're, you're good against it, but this rain. 
I don't like that this rain is here. Why is it raining? Why are we doing this outside? Don't we have like a battle stadium inside or something? Like you would think. Oh, well, <laughs> bye Lorantis. Lowbro? Oh, man. All of the curveballs today. I'm only switching blades out because of this rain. And also, uh, water type Slowbro. Or Slowbro. <laughs> the zoom in. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 bye-bye. Bye-bye, slow bro. Swalot. Uh... I mean, the only ones I would really want to... Mm, actually, sodium sounds fine. Sodium sounds fine for this battle. Mostly because of Earthquake. Toxic? Oh. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Oh, I love that ability. It's just, like, good as gold, too. Like, both those are good abilities to have. Like, really good. No! Not, not protect. No. How dare. Cool. Great. Fun. <laughs> this would have been over a turn sooner if you hadn't stalled. No, it's not raining anymore. Cool. Bridgerath. Uh... I don't have any dark moves. I mean, like, Nasty Plot is, is technically a dark move, but it's not, like, it's a status move, so it's, it's not going to do anything. Hmm. giraffe. Maybe I'll keep Sodium out. Wow, you sure are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? To fight literally every Pokemon I can. That's my motto. Just, that's the secret to getting strong, really. Although, I'm not, that's not to say that you're weak, that weak. Just a little energy and there you have it. Now watch as my Pokemon terrestrializes. Okay, what are you going to have? Psychic? Normal? Maybe some other type, like Fairy? Oh, Psychic, okay. Well, that's kind of boring. Would have been interesting if it was it turned into a fairy type. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. That's unfortunate. But at least I have it salt cured, so it'll go down eventually. Let's try something a little different. I wonder what effect this will have on the battle. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay, let me have it. Sodium's going down. Or not, wow! I mean, I, I always knew that he was a beast of a tank, but like, dang. Alright, let's switch out. Uh, Well, it's not normal type anymore, so Ghost will be great. Good as gold. Gold boy. Man, I just have to stall. Really? 
I don't even have to hit it this turn. I mean, I'm not gonna, though. Yay! Wow, you did great! Who's my next victim? And the winner of the second round battle is Champion Artis. Ha! Huh, you beat me. You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you, Artis? You're more fit with the teaching profession than I am with the... Uh, with that boundless confidence of yours. Mr. Jacques, did you... Uh, did I hear you correctly just now? What? Uh oh, uh, hi, director. Are you angry with me? <laughs> well, I'm going to get yelled at. Good luck in the coming battles. What, for losing? Or for. Okay. Or for saying I'm a better teacher than he is. Finally, only four t trainers remain. Time for our cont uh, contestants to face their third matches, everyone. Oh, the battle studies teacher. Oh, boy. Hi, I'm sorry I never went to any classes. Uh, oops. I'll fix that later. Osunu kid. This school battle brawl is for deciding the strongest trainer in the academy, right? Man, I'm so pumped up. There's no better place for me to show off my strengths. And I hear you're the reason for we're having this tournament. You have my thanks for that. New kid, no, champion artist. As a teacher, I feel like it's my duty to lead my students to success. But, since I am the battle studies teacher here, I can't very well lose in a battle, can I? So, don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm going to give it all of I've got. Okay, teacher Azula, like, she <laughs> she looks incredibly like Azula, like, from Avatar. I'm assuming she's specializing in fighting types. Let's have a good, clean battle, okay? Best of luck. Like, she looks incredibly like Azula. Like, I'm not the only one who sees that, right? <laughs> Also, I, I, I like Phalanx. Like, the more I, like, have exposure to it, the more I'm like, maybe I should use that in a team. Like, it's only fighting type. I, when I first saw the, it, I thought it was, like, a bug type or something. But no, it's just psychic. Or, not psychic. Uh, it's, it's just fighting. Oh, you have the fire variant. Dang. I need to catch me one of these. Or, I guess, trade for one, since they're exclusive to Scarlet. But first, I need to catch another Water-type variant, so I can trade. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, let's switch out with, uh, Sodium. Oh, wait, no, it's, it just used a Grand-type move. Uh-oh. Oh, I love that the horns glow like that. Yo, that's awesome. Oh, right. You're a fighting type, too. Kind of forgot about that part, too. It's fine. <laughs> also, I really like how the tails are, like, all twisted like that. Like, that's neat. That's fun. Another Tauros? Oh, this is probably the water variant. Uh... I still don't have any good counters to water. I need some kind of electric move. Like, maybe I should teach Sodium, like, Thunder Punch. Or, I don't know. You need some kind of good counter to water. Because that's my only real weakness, I feel like. Ugh, okay, that hurt. Good thing your defense fell, though. Because this is gonna hurt. 
Yeah, get out of here, Intimidate. Okay. Okay, that didn't hurt as much as I was hoping. Um, You. Yeah, I should have led with uh, Tinkaton for this one. Ugh. That still hit a lot. That still hurt a fair bit. <laughs> but I have Rocky Helmet. Man, the Rocky Helmet has been so good. It's been so incredibly useful. Oh, no. Hopefully she doesn't have anything that confuses. Because I didn't even think about that. Medicham? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Play rough. Yeah! Man, Tinkaton is so good. Oh, man. Okay, uh... I might switch to duck. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to switch to duck and use acrobatics. Hello. Acrobatics. Flying press? Oh. Ha! Missed. That flying press... Oh. That flying press is a little scary because it's fighting type, but it's also flying type. Which I, I really like that it has the dual type move. More moves need to be dual typed like that. Hariyama. I'll keep you out. You got real fighting, you kid. This battle's really stoked my fighting spirit. Yeah, that flying press is scary, because if it had hit, it would have hurt Duck a lot. Because, you know, flying against fighting. And push past your limits day by day, Osu. Okay. Oh, boy. Big fighting fists come from forehead. Oh. Ooh, almost knocked it out. Give it your all. That'll make the taste of victory even sweeter. Oh, no. This is going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, not as bad as I thought it would. I'm My Pokemon got pretty badly hurt at this time, though. Like, her Pokemon hit hard. I see you've honed your skills, new kid. Osu! Okay. <laughs> and the winner of the third round battle is Champion Artist. No way, I got crushed! But I still got something great out of this battle. This was a massive chance for me to grow. You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day too. And that's why we are ha uh, harping on you kids to study. Turns out, we actually do know what we're talking about. Thanks for the battle. Keep aiming for the top in this tournament. And don't forget, Osu Osu Osu! <laughs> okay. There's one last match in this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce the two trainers who will be facing off to finally determine who's the strongest in the academy. It's Chantipian Artist up against... Oh, no, it's Gita. A special guest joining our tournament, the top champion, Gita. Good day, Champion Artist. I had a feeling we I would meet you in the finals. Hone strength against hone strength. Such a clash in the ca uh, in what captures the crowd and what makes their hearts race. 
This is extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As the chairperson for both the champ uh, Pokemon League and the Academy, I find this situation to be incredibly satisfying. Now, if we both push each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, champion artists. Our battle will inspire all those who watch us today. Let me show you the full might of the top champion. Oh boy. Champion Gita Esparaza. I think she used all kinds of different Pokemon, so like, let us set us an example for everyone, you and I. So she had Esperatha, a psychic type. She also had uh, King Gambit, and also uh, what was it called, like Limerock or something, the Poison Rock type. So yeah, she has all kinds of different types. So uh, this could be something. Lumina Crash. I don't think I've seen that move before. Or uh oh. Okay, Blades, I might have to switch you out. Avalug. Oh, but that's... Okay, I'll keep you in. Fire versus Ice. Bitter Blade. Hopefully it doesn't use any special moves. Yeah, I kind of knew that wasn't going to knock it out. Earthquake? Uh-oh. Uh, okay, Blades is faster. Against this shell... Or, not shell, this... I don't know, turtle... Iceberg thing. It's definitely pretty slow. King Gambit! Let's switch to Tinkaton. Because now I know what King Gambit is. It's a king, and it has... It, it, it runs the Gambit. Supreme Overlord. Oh, no. Right, that ability. Honestly, that ability would make King Gambit a really good one to use last, I feel. <laughs> Also, the, the hammer, uh, it was, yeah, the Tinkaton, you, you really should hold the hammer on the other side so that I can actually see the Pokemon in the battle. Like, I mean, it's, it's been funny, but it's also been like, I kind of want to see what the, the, you see the other Pokemon in the battle, especially in situations where I can't just turn the camera like this. Belooza. Uh, that was actually Psychic type, so I'm gonna keep you in. <laughs> uh, Skitter Smack. Nice! Good chunk of damage. <laughs> Rocky Helmet. Remember... Physical moves aren't good against the, me. Against Tinkaton, anyways. Moves that make contact. Go Goat. Okay. Uh, Go Goat is probably faster than Blades. But I don't think it would have any like, moves that would be good against it, since it is just a grass-type goat. Probably faster than Blades, but I don't know. If Blades goes down, then it's not the worst thing in the world, but I would prefer it to not happen. Oh, good! Blades struck first. Yo! Let's go! Glamora, right. That's what it's called. Uh 
you. Let's make it rain, baby. Make it rain. We'll make this a uh, match a fitting one for the finale. A grand spectacle. No one's sure. Let's make it super spectacular. Oh, I really should change your terror type to steel. I keep forgetting to do that. That's one of the things I keep meaning to do. Why I keep going to the raid dens for the steel terror shards. May you shine as brightly as the future of Paldea, Glimora. Like, I really should get that uh, the steel terror type going. Just for a gold ango. <laughs> bye bye. There's no more po uh, battles after this, right? Like, that was the last one. They're not gonna just throw in a surprise one. The future of Paul Day is bright indeed. Picked up 370 bucks. Like that matters. Uh, unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament. And thus, the strongest trainer in the whole of the academy is Champion Artis. Artis, you did it! You did it! Yay! Like there was any doubt. Everyone's cheering for me! I love it. Hooray. <gasps> I would like to extend my thanks to everyone who made this extraordinary tournament possible. Each and every trainer demonstrated beautifully the bond they share with their Pokemon. I couldn't take my eyes off any of the matches. Leading the way into the future while valuing our individuality. That is our motto at Yuva Academy, and the tournament truly lived up to our ideals. Now, I'm aware my speeches tend to get a little, shall we say, overlong, so I'll wrap it up there. I now turn the floor to our special guest, Chairwoman Gita. The friendly rivalry of the trainers. The cheering and encouragement from the bat, uh, from the crowd. I feel like these are perfect ingredients for the academy. No, for the whole Paldea region to become more lively and energized. Champion Artist was far stronger today than when he took the Champion League's final test. Thank you, Crater. <laughs> it is clear that he strives to become better every day even after reaching such a, an esteemed rank. It is my sincere hope that all of Paldea's people will be inspired not just by him, but by every trainer gathered here who aimed for new heights. And that the seeds of uh, for many more future champions will be sown. I eagerly await news of, of all of your achievements. Thank you, Chairwoman Gita. Now alas, it is time for this wonderful tournament to come to an end. But this event seems to be uh, seems to me to be a wonderful way to build rapport between faculty and students and to invigorate the wider community beyond our walls. So, I hereby declare that the Academy Ace tournament will not end as a one-time event and will continue to be held regularly. Nice. Heck yeah, everyone should join. I will beat them all. Oh my gosh, yes, this is everything I wanted. I do hope you'll participate next time, Miss Nimona. Absolutely, I wouldn't miss it for anything. Well, dear students and staff, that wraps up our very first Academy Ace Tournament. Thank you again for joining us here today, and I hope you're all excited for the next one. Yay!
Does that mean we can just keep doing battles? That would be fun. Artist, you did it! Congratulations on winning it all. I'm so happy. It almost made me forget the pain of everyone using Arvin's stupid school battle brawl name. I mean, that's a good name. I think it's fine. Oh yeah, here's your prize. Sporty cap. Director Clavel told me he got caught up in, uh, in all the excitement and forgot to give it to you. So, I guess you're the strongest in the school throne now, uh, for now, artist. Keep it warm for me. I'm gonna be in the tournament next time, and I'll be coming right at for ya. Whenever you feel like entering the tournament again, just talk to the staffer at the front desk. You know, artist, I relished every day since you moved here to Paldea and became my rival. I'm so glad to meet you. Uh, I'm so glad I met you. I mean it. Me too, I mean it. Come on, don't make me blush. Anyways, I'll be seeing you on the battle court. For a good long time to come. Yay! What? Hello, hello, artist. This is Jacques. Congratulations on winning the Ac Academy Ace Tournament. I sure am proud to have one of my students become the Academy's Ace. I'm Mr. Jacques. Oh, don't worry, Director Clavel. I'll get to the point now. I'm actually calling you to, uh, to tell you that the highly difficult terror raids are cropping up all over the place. We're getting ready. Uh, we're getting report after report from Academy students after uh, about their Pokemon getting injured. We teachers have split up to investigate these raids, but we're uh, still a bit short-handed. So, we were wondering if we could enlist your help, since you're the Academy's ace and all. How about it? Leave it to me! Your Pokedex automatically records the data we need as you go, so don't worry about that. For now, I'd like you to take on a lot of these tough Terran raid battles. But don't get in over your head. Even the Academy's ace needs to be careful. I'm sure it would be sad if one of my precious students got injured. Anyways, we're counting on you. Sweet. So we can just battle in the the tournament again as well? So, uh, yeah, those, uh, the terror raid battles are the main thing I wanted to unlock with that tournament. So I'm glad we did that today, because now I can just do those raids just endlessly now. And maybe get some good stuff, like, uh... Like certain uh, things I need for shiny hunting and stuff. And also the special raid Pokemon. I might be able to... I, I think the, the actual event is closed. Like the one for uh, Cinderace. But it would be good for future Terra Raid battles to be ready. Ugh. We're now connected to the internet. Uh, I think this is over. Oh! Okay, so the the first round of it was is over, but the second round is on the thirteenth. Okay. That'll be good to have that ready. But for now, are there any raids I can do? Ooh, lots of strong Pokemon. How about we do... Hmm... I think I'll do this one. Oh wait, uh, hmm. Do I have any good Pokemon for that though? I'm not sure I do. Because the only thing I have really that's good against poison is ground. I don't have any psychic types I'm realizing. Hmm. 
I guess I could use for Ridgerath. It's around the same level as my uh, my main team. Maybe I could use that. Weren't able to join. Okay, well. Uh, I'll join this one then. Or maybe I'll just check for new postings if it doesn't let me in this one. Oh, no, I can. Cool. Change your Pokemon. Switching to Tinkaton. All ready to go. So, uh, one of the reasons why I was late to start today was, uh, I've been racking my brain over the weekend over what I want to do for the schedule for this week. And, of course, we're playing Pokemon today, but I don't, like, one of my slots I just couldn't figure out. And regarding the rest of the schedule for the week, uh... So yeah, tomorrow I think we're going to look at some clips from 2022. Just looking at uh, some of my best clips from my streams. I think that would be a, a good fun time. Uh, the Wednesday slot is the one I couldn't figure out what to do. Because I wanted to start a new game this week. Because Pokemon's pretty much wrapped up now, aside from maybe shiny hunting, but I'm not sure if I want to do that on stream. And then on Friday, no stream on Thursday, Friday, we're going to be doing a, po uh, not Pokemon, uh, a Super Mario Odyssey speedrun. And it's gonna be bad, as they usually are, because I never practice! Hooray. I really should just start practicing so I can just do them regularly, instead of just staggering them as much as I do. And actually maybe just look up the actual run. That would probably be helpful. Also, why is this one person bringing Appleton? Appleton is bad against fairies. Bro. And this thing's gonna have dragon-type moves, as well as fairy. So your Pokemon is gonna be super weak. What are you doing? Unless that thing has a lot of steel-type moves, it's not gonna be good. Uh, so yeah, Super Mario Odyssey over on Twitch on Friday. That sounds right. And we're going, uh, me and my friend group, like our friend group that I usually play games with, uh, we're going to be trying out an archipelago on possibly Saturday, possibly Sunday. We still need to figure out which day would be best. And uh, that's going to be fun. And if you don't know what an archipelago is, uh, <laughs> it's a bunch of randomized games that are, like, tied to each other over the internet. And we're all just going to be, like, so you get, uh, like, all of the games are randomized with each other, so whenever you get an item or something, it'll be someone else's item for their game. And it's gonna be a lot of fun, I feel. I hope. How did that Lucario get knocked out already? 
Like the Appleton I expected, but but dang. What are you even doing? Oh no. Uh oh. Please hit it. Smack. Critical hit. Nice. Probably gonna heal now. I think healing now would be a good, a good idea. Just in general. Tailwind. Oh, but it failed. Good. Heal up. Please, everyone, so we don't lose even more time than we've already lost. Although I feel like we're probably not gonna win this. Partly because of that Appleton kid. Like, what are you even doing bringing a dragon into a fairy type lair? Ugh. Can't use that. Ugh, fine. At least they're using Gigaton Hammer. <laughs> Boom burst. Eh. Whatever. Releases Gathered Energy. Yeah, all thanks to that Appleton kid getting knocked out constantly. And also Lucario somehow. I don't know how that happened. You and the others were blown out of the cavern. Like, really, if you're wanting to take on these higher level dens, you need to bring the right Pokemon. But all of these people seem to only ever bring Pokemon that are strong against the original type and not against the Terra type, which is a little annoying. I'll admit, it's a little annoying. Uh, you're a ghost type. You're a fire type. Um, you would be good with Tinkaton. Because not only will you have dark type moves, which will not be very effective, but also uh, your rock type, so I can just smack you with the hammer a bunch. So yeah, uh, I'm thinking we'll we'll probably do the archipelago this weekend, either on Saturday or Sunday, but I don't know which day, and I still need to do some testing for the games I want to do, and I am really looking forward to doing this. Really? Can I not check for new postings? Bam, bam. If I don't get in this time, then I'll probably go for the Ghost Type Gardevoir, maybe? Weren't able to join. Ugh. Fine. We'll go for a different one. I feel like Goldengo would be good for that one. 
would be resistant to the psychic moves, and it does have the ghost type move for the ghost. What do you mean? Okay, I'm checking for new postings. Uh, ghost type Appleton. Okay. I mean, electric Hippowdon sounds fun too. Also, good job randomizing the type with that ghost type, Miss Magius. Dang. If I'm not able to get into this room, then I'll just do something else. Because I don't want to be sitting in these... these... Ugh, fine. Fine! We'll do something else today. I still have a couple things I would like to do. I can win at the terror raid battles off stream. Honestly, this is probably this is possibly going to be the last stream of Pokemon on YouTube. Or Pokemon Violet specifically on YouTube because uh I don't think there's a lot left to do that would be like good for YouTube streams. I could do like shiny hunting, but I feel like that would be better suited for Twitch. Also, I meant I, I actually wanted to talk to you for classes because there's one in particular that I would like. Uh, let's do languages. Yeah. Because apparently there's a Pokemon that you, you can get only through doing the languages class. My dear students, how are you all today? Feeling good, I hope. First time I'm meeting you. Je m'appelle Salvatore. My name is Salvatore. Merci beaucoup. That is, thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I'm so heru, uh, or happy, for this chance to re-experience my younger days with you all. Do you know what Salvatore means? It means savior. So I imagine I'm here to save you from spooky new languages. Haha. <laughs> Funny, no? Not really. I see that Alolan Raichu up there. That's fun. That's right. My classes will teach you about various languages from different regions. You may say good morning or hello as a greeting, but people from elsewhere may say bonjour or salut. I've, uh, I've heard there's even, uh, there's even a popular streamer out there who smashes several languages together and says, Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Iono. She's a fun streamer. Fun gym leader, too. There are so many l regions out there in our world, and each can have their own l unique languages. Gracias, mer uh, merci. Zai Zai? Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. Arigato? Danke? <laughs> oh boy. These all have the same meaning. Can you guess what that is? Thank you! Wow! Artist, was it? Bravo, that's correct. And speaking up is important in language learning too. Gracias, merci. Shai Shai? I still don't know what that one is. Is that... Is that Mandarin? Or... I'm not sure. These words all mean thank you. I guess some of you probably knew at least one of those. I know a few of those. Despite meaning the same thing, their lengths and sounds are all different. Isn't that interesting? And now... A propos of nothing, let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. 
When you travel abroad, you should try to speak the local language as much as you can, even if you can't speak it very well. It'll make the locals very happy because they'll get to laugh at your lack of knowledge. <laughs> I'm sure your willingness to try to uh, will make the people you make uh, you meet uh, very happy. I I I uh, okay. Honestly, my experience just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you in the local language will get you pretty far. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and gesture away. Psst. Good advice, language teacher. Oh, there's that pesky bell. I guess that's all the time we have for today. Well, adios, madana... Uh, madane? I chose the, lo the wrong class to attend. Because I don't know a lot of these. Or maybe I chose the right class to attend. Because I don't know a lot of these. It would help if there was voice acting to help with pronunciation. Just saying. My dear friends, how are all of you today? Feeling fantastic, I hope. It's time for Salvatore's language lesson. Etez-vous tr... Pret? I don't know. Are you ready, everyone? You can answer with yes or we. We. C'est super! In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say thank you in other languages, right? Oh, no. In today's class, we will learn about a certain word... Sure to make people happy when you use it in your travels abroad. What word do you ask? Well, you ha you'll have to a uh, guess. Uh Delicious? I mean, that's close to that first one. Correct, say su super. I knew I could count on you, artists. All of these words mean delicious. Using the local word for delicious at markets or restaurants is sure to get a big soiree. A smile, that is. So, soiree? Swa soiree? I, I don't know. Okay. A, a smile from whoever you're talking to. It'll make communication go more smoothly. I guarantee it. People love it when someone says the cuisine of their homeland is delicious. Who wouldn't be more happy to receive a compliment? And now, a propos of nothing, let me give you all one of my words, wise words of advice. The first step to a smooth communication is to compliment the person you're talking to. Well, duh. That's just basic human knowledge. Just compliments. After all, it's not very likely that a compliment would put someone in a bad mood. It can happen, but it's not common. This doesn't only apply to people in other regions either. It's the same for all of you too. You can put this tip to use with your classmates. How about you all try a co uh, complimenting each other after class? I bet it'll make for an ambiance plus sympathetic. A more friendly atmosphere. That's all for today. Great. This was a mistake to take this class. Maybe I don't care about the reward at the end. <laughs> oh, no. How am I going to remember all of this? I already struggled with language classes enough in actual school. My dear friends, how are all of you today? You certainly f look fantastic. It's time for another one of Salvatore's language lessons. Are you ready? 
Uh oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Are you ready? We. Oui. Très bien. Very good. My lessons are not a one-way street. No, no. I am très triste. Très triste? When no one speaks up. Very sad, that is. In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say delicious in other languages, right? In la cour? That... I... In today's class, we will learn about a very special f phrase that you can put to use when the time is just right. Uh it's like dick uh it it's like dick I mm. I love you Okay good Okay. Shy boys and girls, yep. That's what it is, not just that we don't know the languages. Like, having one language in a class, that's hard enough, but you're just mashing all of the language classes all together in one. If you get married someday and argue with your spouse over some silly little thing, all you have to do is apologize and say, I love you. Uh. Et tu era bien? Hmm. And all will be well, that is. I should know. Why, just last week, I had a big argu <laughs> argument with my. my femme. My dear wife, that is. But. I was quick to say, I'm sorry, and that's all there was. And now, I. Apropos of nothing, let me give you all one of my words of advice. It is best to be quick to apologize when you have an argument with someone. Well, duh. That goes for your family's friends and your crushes. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Uh, midterm exam. Ugh. That's gonna be fun. Isn't that gonna be fun? fun having midterm exams for a class that switches languages every five seconds. Ugh. Languages midterm. Alright, let's get it on. At least it's multiple choice. Uh, those are all thank you. That one. Uh, which of these languages doesn't... Oh. This one? Speaking to a person, what is the first step to communicate? Get mad at them, bur bury them in flattery. Compliment them. Uh, his name is... Salvatore? Uh, hope, ho hopefully I got full marks. Yeah, aced it. Experience candies. Languages. Gee. We're halfway there, and now time for another lesson. Are you ready? Oh, oops. Oh, wait. No, I... Okay. It's fine. I could use either. Good. Leading up to the midterm, we learned all sorts of words from different regions. Starting today, though, I'll be throwing a curveball, for we begin listening comprehension. How's that going to 
gonna work? There's no voice acting in this game. Oh, what? How's that gonna work? Pikachu. As you heard, Pokemon also use words to communicate. It's not always easy for us to understand them, but their words have meaning, just as ours do. Pokemon can use language to share all kinds of information with each other, like the location of food or whether there be there may be predators nearby. The same Pokemon cries may sound different depending on what it wants to say. I'm sure you're all curious. So today we'll learn some Pokemon language. Great. Pika! Happiness. What? Angry? Oh. It looked pretty happy to me. I had my little Pikachu friend here pretend to be angry for us. He didn't do a very good job. He just looked happy. Don't you think you did a great job? Give Pikachu a round of applause, everyone. Well, at least there's a sound effect for clapping. The same Pokemon can even communicate its feelings in many different ways. How is listening comprehension going to work for the exam, for the finals? Their voices change depending on their mood and physical condition. Try listening more closely to Pokemon, and you might gain a deeper understanding of them. That having uh, been said, Pokemon are quite mysterious creatures. Some actually don't communicate with words at all, but use things like electromagnetic or ultrasonic wa uh, waves. Some e uh, even use telepathy, which makes Pokemon communication very easy. And now, apropos of nothing, let me give you all one of my words of advice. If you poke at Pokemon too many times while watching them during picnics, they'll get mad at you like Pikachu just demonstrated. Kind of already knew that. Oh boy, this final exam is going to be terrible, isn't it? Bing bong. Ba -da -ba -ba. Languages. Only two more classes. And then the finals. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. My dear friends, how are all of you today? I hope you are doing marvelously well. It's time for another of Salvatore's language lessons. Are you ready? I would expect no less from my excellent friends. We're your students. We're not your friends. Please. Even your replies to my ac uh, questions are excellent. Today, we will be once again focusing on listening. Great. As you may remember from our last class, the same Pokemon's cries may sound different depending on what it wants to say. Today... We will be learning more about the language used by Pokemon. Hmm, that sounds a little bleak, doesn't it? Its voice seems to be a little lower pitched, too. Uh, I'm gonna say sadness. Okay, good. It's expressing sadness. Kind of makes you want to cry, doesn't it? That's right, I had my little Pikachu cry as if it was crying. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, right? Don't you think it did a great job? Give Pikachu a round of applause, everyone. I mean, it is cute. So I'll give it that. And now, apropos of nothing, let me give you all one of my words of advice. If you hear one of your Pokemon making sad noises like this one, you should treat them with even more kindness than usual. Well, you probably already knew that, though. A piece of cake for you all, I'm sure. Of course, this goes for your classmates as, uh, and others as well. Friends should support each other in times of sadness. I truly hope that you all have uh, can have smiles on your faces at all uh, all the time, my friends. 
Oh, boy. It's the final climax! <laughs> Languages. This is gonna suck, isn't it? This last one. Now, I was thinking it was gonna be actual language, not, not talking about the language of Pokemon. I mean, there was actual language earlier, before the midterm, but now we're just talking about Pokemon talking. My dear friends, how are all of you today? It's time for our last, uh, the last of Salvatore's language lessons. Are you ready? Wait. Oui. What a response, fantastic. A great answer, that is. Perfect for our last, cla uh, last class together. I love it. Today we will be having a listening lesson. Great. Pikachu. What? Cha. Uh, pain? What? How does that happen? Okay. Getting to meet so many new friends and study together in this class with you. It's made me, it both me and my little Pichu so very happy. As you live your lives, I'm sure you will all have times when you get mad or sad, maybe even more than you would like. Everything has its ups and downs. Life is a veritable roller coaster. But a la fin, in the end, that is, there is surely happiness waiting for you. Keep a smile on your face, even on the hardest of times. Easier said than done, my dude. When you're faced with a problem that you can't handle alone, Find someone to rely on, be it a teacher, your family, your friends, anyone. Next lesson will be our final exam. Be sure to re review what we learned in our lesson so far. Adios, matinee! <sighs> this is a mistake. <laughs> oh no, I'm not looking forward to this exam. Language is final. I'd like to at least pass. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. Oh, Pikachu's is up there. Today we take our final exam. Relax and do your best. Are you ready? This one. I love you. Uh, I think that was anger. <laughs> Hang on. No, actually, I think that was happiness. Uh. Uh. Sadness. Labrador? Ah, uh, it's Salvatore. Ah, uh, why, why the Pikachu in the final exam? Please, full marks, please. Please. Three exams, uh, three questions to get right and four to pass. Oh, uh, what? Dang it. S stupid Pikachu questions. Dang it. Bing bong. Hopefully it's not randomized. Delicious. 
I love you. I think that's happiness. Maybe that's anger? Happiness? Salvatore. If I didn't pass this time, I might just look up the answers. <laughs> I don't want to resort to cheating. Yes, let's go! Nice. Okay, sweet. Now apparently we can go talk to our uh, Mr. Salvatore. Bing bong. Oh, Penny wants to talk? And Arvin. Okay, I'll talk to them later. Bing bong. Ba -ba 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 bing bong. Hello. Oh, artist. Did you come all the way here to the staff room just to see me? Yep. Haha, <laughs> seems I've finally made it into the hearts of my students. That makes me Trey happy. After all, like I said in class, communication is very important. If there's anything you're confused about in class, or if you're having trouble here at the academy, you can always come here and tell me. Tonami Savior, uh, Salvatore, your friend Salvatore, that is. Slightly closer. Okay, what's what's your deal? A lot of the teachers here are real colorful characters. I need to try harder to stand out. Who are you? <laughs> what? Okay, I guess I can't do any more here. Uh, let's go talk to Penny. Hmm. Penny, where are you? Maybe she's downstairs. And I just didn't see her. Like maybe she's around the corner. Did you know? <laughs> no. Did you know? Yeah, we learned that in history already. Uh That phrase though, that that did you know, it's it, it haunts me. Hello. Culture. Hmm. Oh, hello, Penny. Hello. Oh! Dang. It's the, the Team Star members over there. Go what? Artists? Hurry up and hide and keep quiet, okay? Oh, geez. What's going on? Whew, that was close. Uh, something up? Um, yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, I guess I may as well come clean. Take a look over there. Yeah, I saw them. Do you get it now? A uh, little context, please? Ah, sorry, your jump scare earlier completely frazzled me. My brain's still trying to reboot. All right, here's the sitch. Team Stars started coming to school again. Well, that's great! But I don't know if they're gonna fit in okay, and it's just been playing on my mind, you know? So I'm checking on them from over here. Hmm. Huh. I guess we're still not get exactly getting a warm welcome here, huh? I mean, you were kind of known for as... 
bullies trying to recruit members for Team Star and stuff, but like, we're trying to fight the bullies too, so I don't know. Well, duh. I'm sure the teachers finally figured out we're not a bunch of delinquents. But it's not like we can press some magic button and make everyone else accept us. True story. We gotta fix this, my man. Time for a change of tack. Huh? Change of tack? What, are they gonna start wearing normal school uniforms so they stop scaring off the other kids? Oh, Momo, Ordy. They're both really trying their best to fit in here at school. Change of tack, huh? What exactly are you suggesting? Huh? I mean, uh... How about we say a big friendly howdy to everyone here? Like, just yell it, loud as we can. You dummy. <laughs> Even made him drop his staff. What? That's stupid. Go on and embarrass yourself if you want to, but count me out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that idea seems a bit off. Hold up, let me explain. You know Rhyme, right? She does this at her concerts, no joke. Oh, is she like your idol or something? Oh, that's fun. If the crowd ain't hyped at the start of a show, she'll start l the loudest greeting you ever heard into the mic, like, Sup, y'all, or whatever. Let's the mood like nobody's business. Yeah, that makes sense. Because those are concerts. This is school. It's different. Okay, smart guy. So we're opting for the cold shoulder treatment forever then, are we? No, that'd totally suck. It would, wouldn't it? So yeah, our only option is to yell at everyone so they know we're nice. <laughs> okay, dude. Here, I'm gonna go for it. Hey, morning, y'all! How we all feeling today? <laughs> No, Giacomo, what are you doing? This is so embarrassing. Everyone having a good time? Come on, Ortega, you gotta do it too. Hold on a sec. You're you're just practicing for your DJ sets, aren't you? Thanks for coming tonight. Quick, say it. <laughs> Thanks for coming tonight. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, what do you mean, thanks for coming? We're not hosting anything. What on earth? <laughs> I mean, they're your friends. You should know them better than anyone else. Those guys from Team Star? What the heck are they yelling for? Is this some kind of skit? <laughs> they're pretty funny. Guess they're not as scary as I thought. No way. The people are actually warming up to them? Why? That makes no sense. Ah, Momo and Ordi are really, really are operating on a different level. I'm kind of amazed. Seems all my worrying was for nothing, huh? Well, all that's settled. I guess I should get going. Hasta la vista. <laughs> that was fun. That was actually a fun little scene. I really like that. Heck yeah. Good for them, though. Oh, that was, that was a good time. Oh, I can get another talk? Oh, Nimona wants to talk too, dang. Okay, I guess we'll be doing this for the rest of the stream, probably. I guess it makes sense that all of them would want chats and stuff. Uh, where is language arts teacher and why is he at the track and field area? Hello. Yeah, new muscles are great. Yep. Mm hmm. Sure, totally. Where is Salvatore? I'll talk to Nimona in the meantime. 
Hi, hello. Oh, hey, Artis. Great timing. I've been having the hardest time lining up opponents to battle. Yeah, because everyone is t scared of you since you're the, the strongest trainer. Or something. One of the strongest trainers. But now I found you in the schoolyard, no less. But it'd be silly not to battle. What do you say? Okay, yeah, sure, let's do a battle. I knew I could count on you. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. I guess we're doing this. You spent whole two... <laughs> You're not even gonna show me battling? Man, I wanted to have an actual freaking battle. You spent two whole hours battling Pokemon with Nimona. Dang it, game! At least let me battle myself. Ah, good stuff. Gotta step up my game so I'll be ready anytime for that eight, uh, uh, Academy Ace tournament. I know I sprang my battle fever on you out of nowhere. Thanks for being up for it. Okay. <laughs> now, where is Mr. Salvatore? I would like to speak him to him about things and stuff. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Oh, there he is. Over by the plants and stuff. I thought that was a Bidoof for a second. I was like, where'd you get a Bidoof? Artist, I'm in a bit of a pinch. Take a look at this. This Pommy really doesn't fe seem to be feeling well. I don't know if the poor thing can even stand up. What should I do? What should I do? Uh... Use a potion on it? Oh, right. I could use a potion. Do you have any on you? Uh, yeah, I should. Hand it over a potion. This will fix you up right up, my friend. Potion power, go. Oh, it's sleeping. Whew. That seems to be have done the trick just in the nick of time. But this palmy... It doesn't appear to have a trainer. Hmm. Could a wild Pokemon have wandered onto the Academy grounds? I mean, this place is on outside, so it's not impossible. Still, I can't just leave it here alone without anyone to make sure it's okay. It's decided then. I, Salvatore, will just have to lend all of the helping hands I have to take care of Pommy in this touch-and-go situation. Merci very much for your advice, Artis. Adios, au revoir, farewell. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Now both of them are in the cafeteria. Uh, I may as well. I'm going to go talk to both of them. Hello, Arvin. Yo, artist, you grabbing something to eat too? Man, you sure did give me a beating in that Academy Ace tournament. Seems like all my closest buddies are in another league, you know? I mean, look at you. You just up and became a champion in your first year to boot. You know that's pretty amazing, right? Then there's Nimona, top marks in every class at school, and she's champion rank two. Here, Penny's got some kind of offer to work for the Pokemon League or something. I seem to be the only average one around here. Nothing special about me. Saying your dad's super famous isn't really a compliment. You're great at cooking. Nah, I mean, it's just like a hobby, really. Yeah, a hobby that you use to survive. You can't really survive without eating. So who's that lost child that's just peeking out in front of the, the, the pots like that? I only learned how to do my the basics because my dad wasn't around to, to cook for me. Wait, my dad! See, now that Mabostov is doing so much better, and since the treasure hunt is still going and all, I've been thinking of a new goal, to find myself. You're right here, dude. I don't think you need to find yourself. I know what he means, but, like, heck. I, I couldn't help it. 
And I guess you've really got to start by knowing from where you come from. Which means, I should learn more about my dad, right? Oh, you could. That's that's one way to go about it. He was a student at this school once, too. That's what I heard. I'm going to search this whole school for info about what kind of person he really was. Thanks for the inspiration, little buddy. Well, good for him. Also, hello. So, you're good for a battle, right? Great. Meet you in the schoolyard in a minute. Uh, hold up. You're Nimona, right? Like, the student council president? That Nimona? Yep, that's me. <laughs> yeah, maybe some other time. Artist! Hola! Uh, who was that? Oh, him? Don't know who he was. Then why'd you challenge him to a battle? I was just munching my sandwich and I heard him bragging about how his tough po uh, bragging about his tough Pokemon. So I invited him to a battle. <sighs> I wonder what Pokemon he's gonna use. Can't wait to see. He said he's not gonna battle. Wait, I forgot to get his t contact info. How are we supposed to plan when we'll face off? Oh well, I'll make sure to battle him next time I run into him. Oh, great. Anyways, guess you came, came to get some grub, huh? Well, I'm not one to stand in between someone and their meal. Catch you later. Actually, I came here to talk to you and Arvin, but uh, you both just kind of left. So I guess I'm leaving too. School store. Now Nimona's in there with Penny. Oh, great. Okay, well, the one I wanted to talk to uh, in the first place was uh, Salvatore. Just to get his... No. Just to get his stuff done. Oh, hello. I guess this makes sense. Oh, my dear artists. Thanks to your advice from before, Pommy is... Well, just see for yourself. Uh, is it feeling better now? Probably came here to get the answer to that question. Hmm, yeah, it's feeling better, but this particular Pommy, it may just be a bit meek, I suppose? I had Nurse Miriam take a look as well. She said there's nothing wrong with it health-wise. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't see the back of his head until now, dang. So it shouldn't have any injuries, ailments, or the like. Even so, it never utters so much as a cry, which is odd. That part has even Mr. Jacques here stumped. Sorry that I couldn't be much of a help. Don't worry about it. I have some more information now, thanks to the Academy's uh, security cameras, though. It seems Pommy was attacked by a wild Pokemon and fled here to the Academy grounds. Oh, dang. Maybe it's still in a bit of shock from that experience and can't bring itself to speak yet? Yep, if that's the case, there's absolutely no problem with keeping quiet. Pas de problem... Probleme? Hmm. We can wait until it's, it feels like talking. That's all we can do, really. Even if you can speak all sorts of languages, there's no guarantee that you can understand what's going on in someone's heart. True. But have no fear. I won't give up. No, I'll keep on trying until we've figured each other out. You feel trusted. Mr. Shock just went to the front of the class again. Uh, I guess I'll go talk to Penny and Nimona again. <laughs> Nimona just keeps going everywhere that I'm meaning to go anyways. Hi. Hello, Penny. Oh, hey, artist. I'm checking on Atticus. So keep your voice down, okay? Whisper, whisper. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hmm. 
I must say, the Academy Emporium stocks some rather splendid wares. I admit my expectations were far lower than warranted. Wow, he really seems to have taken a shine to the school store. Doesn't seem like he'll notice this anytime soon, so I guess there's no point whispering. I mean, he's a ninja, so if... I'm sure he would have noticed us by now since he's a ninja. You know, all of my Team Star friends, it's... Uh, of all of my Team Star friends, it's Atticus I'm worried will have the most trouble fitting in. I mean, he does wear a, a mask over his face. Greetings, my good shopkeep. I would very much like to acquire the limited edition ninja garments released today. There are ninja garments here? I believe you have five sets in stock, yes? Ah, the ninja cosplay set, yes? I'm sorry, dear, but someone bought the last two from us earlier. We're completely sold out. Dang it! I wanted one of those. What? This cannot be. If I am unable to procure those garments, why, I... That'll ruin everything. It appears I have no choice but to track down this rival patron of mine when I find them. Uh-oh. Oh! Dang! I shall fix them with my piercing gaze and beg on bending knee for the ninja garments I so crave. He actually took off his mask? What? Since when was Atticus this good looking? I mean, he's always wearing a mask, so no one knew. Did kind of have the pretty boy eyes, so... Eh. Wait, no, focus. If he starts begging some kid for their ninja outfit, people will think he's a weirdo. I think people already think he's a weirdo. We should stop him, right? Let's just see how this pans out. Seriously, but... Oh, Don Atticus, there you are. <laughs> ah, yes. Here you are, boy. I am hiding very, very perfectly behind Nimona's hair. How are you doing? <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, this was probably not intentional at all. <laughs> just, just a close-up on Nimona's ear. Nothing... <laughs> no problems here. My young compadre. I must apologize. About the garments I promised you so that we might dress as ninja together. Oh yeah, I got us covered. I already bought two sets of the ninja cosplay stuff for us to wear. I beg your pardon? When I came here earlier, the shopkeep later, uh, lady was uh, putting them out on the shelves. So I bought one for you and one for me. You know how popular these outfits are. I was super lucky to be able to snag them. Now come on, let's play, let's go play ninja outside. Goodness me, what a happy turn of events. I shall retrieve my shuriken from my quarters so that we may enjoy some target practice. Ah, uh, I don't think you should do that on school grounds especially. Ooh, awesome! I can also use my masterful uh, stitchery to transform thy ninja garments into a sublime vision of poison. What say you? Um, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> the insolence of this one. I <laughs> like how Nimona's just staring at this one thing on the shelf. Whew. Looks like he was able to wrap up this little escapade without making a scene. But more importantly, Atticus has already made a friend at school. Kind of makes me feel bad that I thought I had to spy on him. Anyway, I'll get going. Hasta la vista. Bye, Penny. Hi, Nimona. What are you staring at? Pokeballs? Better stock up on some real good po uh, real good on Pokeballs while I'm here. Artis! Oh my gosh, listen to, listen to this. Remember that guy from the cafeteria? Uh, oh, right, the one you wanted to battle, not Arvin. <laughs> I ran into him again in the entrance hall, so I asked him to battle, but he said no! He was like, what's the point? You're a champion and I'm a, and a battle whiz. 
Uh, you'd wreck it, me. I don't get what he meant. I mean, you can have fun battling me even if you lose, right? Uh, you can, but losing all, like, taking on a battle that you know is gonna, that you're gonna lose, uh, hmm. For real. I mean, sure, no one loves losing, but it's definitely not pointless. It teaches you stuff. Man, Pokemon battles can get so complicated sometimes. I think it's more people that are complicated than the, the Pokemon battles. Because uh, I, I think that's the part that you're not grasping. Oh, and I wish he hadn't called me a whiz. I work hard at this stuff. It's not like I just it just comes naturally to me. Like, throwing Pokeballs obviously doesn't come natural to me, naturally to me, for one thing. I think I need a mental reset. I'm gonna go find someone to battle. I'm right here! I'll battle you. Like, actually battle and not just have it be just... Oh, you battled for two hours! That was kind of lame, honestly. Hi, do you have any clothes? I would like to buy some ninja outfits. No? No clothes here? Just... Just battle stuff? Okay. Kind of thought so, but like, man. I want a ninja outfit for this game. It would at least be something to change up from what I'm wearing always and forever. Hello. My dear artist, Pommy here is as healthy as can be. Not saying anything still. <laughs> well, it seems to be, uh, it seems being quiet is simply a part of what this one's personality. But it's hard for a Pokemon to communicate with its fellows without speaking up. As you know, wild Pokemon use their cries to tell each other all, uh, all sorts of things. Like the location of food, or whether there are predators nearby. Yeah, you said that in class already. So, even if I were to release it back into the wild, I'm afraid that it may not be able to do those sorts of things. Poor little thing. What do you think, artist? Where does Pommy belong? How about here? Here at the academy. So, you think it should stay here with me? Uh, I mean, sh maybe. I was just saying here in general, but with you it works too. You seem to be caring about it. I was so focused on getting it back in good health so, that it, uh, so it could return to the wild that I didn't even consider that a possibility. What do you think about that po idea, little, my little palmy friend? <gasps> it talked! Palmy, it spoke at last! Even without speaking Pokemon language myself, I know that reply means yes. Oh, my dear artist, merci very much. Very, very much for all of your help with Palmy. All the more reason you should have this. Here, a rare Pokemon for you to raise. A uh, Meowth! Ah, I'm so happy. Yes, I, Salvatore, will take it upon myself to look after Pomni for good. I will indeed. You formed a close bond with Mr. Salvatore. And there's something special about this Meowth. It's not just a Meowth. It's a, it's a Galar Meowth. It's steel type. Unfortunately, I kind of had that spoiled because of the, uh, the trade. And I was, I, I was like, oh, wow, how do you actually get a Galar Meowth here? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of looked it up and I, it was like, oh, yeah, you get it from class. And I was like, okay, uh, it's probably biology class because that actually makes sense. But having it be language class, uh, makes sense too because, uh, being different regions and talking different languages, I guess. Like, it's, yeah. Yeah, we have the Galar Meowth now. That's cool. 
And since we have two, we can evolve one and still have enough for the living decks. Let's go talk to Arvin. We haven't talked to him for a bit. Hello. Artist, boy, did you pick a great moment to stop on by. Take a look at this. This is supposed to be a sample from my dad's research back from when he was a student. Heh, <laughs> that's what Director Clavel told me anyways. He's been helping me out. When Turo was a student at this academy, I was mere researcher myself. Among my peers, it was already being bandied about that an astoundingly gifted young man was studying at Yuva Academy. So he really was am amazing. Right from the start, huh? Well, I guess I never really questioned it, but why is your office full of all of this equipment? Ho, oh, so you finally noticed, have you? This room was once your father's research lab. Really? It was? From what I heard recounted, he apparently would become so absorbed in his research that he hardly ever returned to his dorm room. He spent most nights sleeping here, in fact. I also find myself more at ease surrounded by such research equipment, so I took the liberty of adapting the room to serve as my office. I never knew. All these pieces of my dad's life, they were right in front of me this whole time. I spent so long not trying to think about him that I never even noticed until now. Thanks for telling me about this, uh, Director Clavel. And artist. Thanks for being here with me to learn about it, too. Bye. Ah, Master Arvin. I also intended to explain about these trophies here. And he's already gone. Rather hard to pin down, isn't he? Off like a flash as soon as some new thought crosses his mind. That's Arvin. My dear Turo. I think that son of yours takes after you quite a great deal. Yep. Can, can, no, I can't actually look at the trophies. Okay. Uh, anything else to say? No? Okay. That was a nice little chat. Uh. I guess Penny? Ugh. Bing bong ding dong. What do you say? Ch challenging the gyms is important, of course, but one must not neglect their studies. Oh, there, there she is. Bing bong. H how you doing, artist? I've never been inside the art room before. It smells like paint in here, but in a good way. Well, it's the art room. What do you expect it to smell like? You expect it to smell like sweets or something? Or Okay. What brings you here? Um, well, I'm worried about this rumor that's going around. People are saying Team Star is planning to raid the art room or something. Oh, no. It's probably just rubbish made up by some kids who are scared of Team Star, though. My friends would never do anything like that. And who'd want to raid the art room anyway? Knock, knock, we're coming in. God, they actually showed up? Oh, no. Wow, this Staraptor is incredible. It looks just like it's about to attack with close combat. Hey, you with the art club or what? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I am? Don't tell me that rumor was for real. Are they actually going to raid the art room? No way. They wouldn't. We should just keep watching. So, um, did did you need anything? Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm here to ask, you know, if... If? If you got any last words, punk! Oh, no. 
No way, it's a raid. This is a literally a raid. Knock it off, Melly. Being shy is one thing, but you can't go around threatening people to cover it up. Right. Sorry, Aerie, my bad. So, uh, about your club. Art club, I mean. I, um, I was wondering if I could join... Oh, he wanted to ask about club membership. Sheesh, you had me scared there. <laughs> We're open to any students to want to join, but, uh... Yes, isn't this great, Melly? Hang on, Ari. This guy's still got something to say. Spit it out, then. I gotta earn my way in, or what? Ah, no, it's just... I was hoping I could ask what prompted you to go for the art club, is all. You're asking me why I want to join? Well, if I gotta explain... One of my pals made this outfit for me. These sick boots and everything. I'm big into flame patterns like this, so... I want to try and make something like it myself. So yeah, painting. That's what I want to do. I'm a total newbie at it, but... I realized something when I saw that simp uh, real simple looking fletching, uh, fletchling... Uh, painting on the wall there. I don't have to be some uh, genius artist. I just want to make art that has its own charm, you know? The Fletchling painting? Um, I did that one. That one's yours? I thought it was like a finger painting by a kindergartner or something. Wow, rude! Haha, <laughs> yeah, I get that all the time. Our president's paintings are real lovable because they're really simple. Everyone says so. Huh? You're the art club's president? I can already tell that we'll have a lot of fun in the club together. Could you tell us your name? Your boots are awesome. Can I get a closer look? The, the name's Mela. And yeah, good eye. My boots are the best. A pal of mine who's a big arts and crafts nerd made them for me. <laughs> wow. So the right thing was just a misunderstanding. Well, that's a relief, but wow. I didn't know that Melly wanted to join the art club. I can't wait to see the what Melly paints. I bet it'll be something amazing, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. God, Harry! How, how, how'd you know we were here? Wait, you were supposed to be hiding? Oops. I was wondering what was going on. We we're just hanging out in the open over here. But you don't need to worry anyway. Melly's been nervous to notice you. Wow. So, even Melly gets the jitters sometimes. Trying new things is scary for everyone. That's why I came here with, your, uh, with her for moral support. But you know, I think she'll be just fine. And she's not the only one doing something new. Carmen and I have started up a wrestling club. Oh, great. <laughs> Melly will have a blast here, I'm sure. So I gotta keep up with her. I'll enjoy the time I have left at the Academy as much as I can. Anyway, it was nice bumping into you both. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Melly and Ari really are putting themsel uh, themselves out there, aren't they? I, I guess I'll head off to Hasta la vista. Oh. I think she's sad that her friends are maybe moving on, maybe? Maybe not moving on, but, like, they're actually... Uh, maybe moving on. It, I don't know. It's... Maybe Penny feels left out a bit. Let's go talk to Arvin. Where is he? Where is that knucklehead? I'm a student. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I'm not a uh, I'm not a teacher. I'm a student. I'm wearing the uniform, aren't I? <laughs> you get mistaken for a teacher a lot. Dang. 
Ah, yes, I understand. I'm too old to be going to school, and yet I'm still going. <laughs> oh, no. Why are there so many old people and students? Oh, no. There's so many old people at this school that aren't teachers. Uh... Gulpin. Okay, where's Arvin? Haven't seen him at all. Maybe he's hanging around where... I, I like that these three are hiding under the stairs. That that's that's honestly kind of cute. Can I take a picture? No, but I want to take a uh, fine. I'll just have me in the picture too, I guess. Dang it! Want to take a picture of just the Pokemon, not my stupid butt. <laughs> oh, seriously though, where's Arvin? Bam bam. Oh, here you are. Hello, I walked right by you. Yo, champ. Coming to hit up the books? Yeah, exactly. Seriously? You're already so good at everything else. Couldn't you just slack off a bit for me? Not a chance. That's not how the world works. Oh, you want to know why I'm here? Uh, yeah, I'm working on my own little treasure hunt, trying to find myself and all. While I was here in the entrance hall, digging through my dad's research reports, I found this on one of the bookshelves. This book was so precious to my dad that he even kept a copy of it in the lighthouse. Oh, dang. The Violet Book. That's what it's called, right? This is my first time reading, uh, really reading the bits that aren't about the Urban Mystica. They're amazing. I mean, it sounds super fake, but it's got all these cool pictures and it's fun to read. Like, look at this entry here. The heck? Is oh, is that the time machine? The, uh, blank Pokemon. While separated from the research team in the crater's depths... I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even um, alive at all, I know not. It bore a... A seal? A sigil? Hmm. With layers of overlapping hexagons and... Gleamed brighter than... Something stone. That wouldn't be brimstone, would it? Hmm. Viewed as a whole, it res resembled resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. Hmm. A disc Pokemon. Weird. The text on this page is all smudged and blurry in every copy of this book I've ever seen. Seems kind of suspicious, right? Of course, the whole book is a, full of unbelievable stories, the Urban Mystica being one of them. But they turned out to be real. And after everything we saw in Area Zero, well, it makes it hard to say it's all nonsense, huh? In fact, I think it might have been this book that made my dad want to become a researcher. I bet he got so fixated on the future Pokemon he read about in here that it made him want to see one for himself. Wait, hold on. Isn't my dad's time machine the whole reason the future Pokemon ended up here in the first place? This book is from way before he made the time machine, but it mentions future Pokemon. Isn't that kind of weird? Hmm. Oh well, I'm sure it's all just made up anyway. But my dad believed that nonsense, and even managed to make it a reality. So I guess he was something. I'm gonna learn from his example and start giving it my all too. I've got something I gotta do now, but I'll see you around, little buddy. 
Now, see, that's puzzling because... Let's just take a look at some of the entries from here. Uh, yeah, it's possible this object was listed as Iron Valiant in a certain expedition journal. Uh, expedition journal. The Pokemon's traits match up with an object described in an old book. Like, all of these are talking about, like, how these were, dis like, described in an ancient era, like, way before, uh, Professor Turo's time. So, I think the time machine already existed, but Professor Turo got it working again. Like, the time machine came back to the future, but, or it came from the future to, like, a million years ago. And it's existed back then, but it was, like, broken and stuff. And then it, Professor Turo only got it, mani like, managed to getting wor it working again? After it broke down or something? I don't know. But to think that there could be another legendary Pokemon coming, that's interesting. That's cool. I really like that idea that there may be DLC for a future Pokemon coming. That would be fun. I like that idea. Anyways, <laughs> let's move on because there's more talks to be had. Uh. Nimona? Nimona. Bing bong. Hello. There you are, artist. I had a feeling you'd turn up if I hung around here for a while. And lo and behold, I was right. Well, now that I've found you, we should swing by my room and have a chat. Oh? Oh? Being invited to your room, huh? Whoa, that... <laughs> Didn't expect the Pokemon there. Welcome to the Zona... The Zona Nimona. Hmm. It's very you. Displaying the gym badges up there like that. And the other award. Ah, oh, thank. Wait a sec. I know we've been to your room before. But have I never had you over here? Wild. Anyway, uh, listen, artist. I know how I, well... You know how I really like Pokemon battles? Like, really, really, really like them? <laughs> I noticed. Cool. And yeah, you know how when we, uh, when you really like something, you dive in deep? That's kind of what I did with Pokemon battles, and I just kind of became a champion. But then I found out that uh, that's pretty special, and normally, it's not so simple for most people. People would tell me to, uh, to my face that I'd only managed it because I had some innate gift. Or because I, I was raised differently, or whatever. And suddenly, I started to feel like there was this invisible wall between me and everyone else. So I started going easy when I'd battle my friends. I just wanted everyone to have fun. But don't worry, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going 100% all out. Especially when I'm lucky enough to have an opponent who, around who can beat me even when I'm in full hardcore mode. So just promise me one thing, okay, artist? Promise me you'll always stay my equal. You and me, true rivals. You know it. You're the best, artist. Thank you. Whew, that got pretty personal. A little bit embarrassed over here. Anyway, since we're equals, I gotta start having you over as much as we hang out in your room. Feel free to burst on into the Zona Nimona whenever you want. Get ready for the Academy Ace Tournament. 
Because I'm ready to stomp you this time. Oh, dang. Okay. Nimona's gym badges are squeaky clean. There's a plaque with a shield, too. <laughs> hey, what's what's on your computer? Can I can I can I look at what's on your computer? No, no, none of that. No, nothing. Oh, oh. the battle court pattern. Yes, of course. That's very Nimona. Hi, hello. Wasn't trying to snoop or anything. <laughs> I make my Pokemon some food. You know, I think a tablespoon means something uh, means different amounts to different people. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It means a teaspoon. Okay. I guess that's all the Nimona talks. Next up is Pen. No, I'm not leaving. I'm not trying to leave. Game. Hi. What you up to? Oh, hey, artist. Welcome to my classroom. All the students here are in the STEM track, just like me. So, uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. But not here. Let's go somewhere we can talk in private. Oh? Oh? Are we going to your room, too? Oh. Oh. Um... A bit of a mess here, huh? Um. <laughs> oh, no. This is my room. Make yourself at home. Uh. Nice and cozy. <laughs> Computer stuff is cool, though. Ha. <laughs> I know, right? Being surrounded by my BBs and figurines is kind of my heaven. Anyway. You must be wondering why I brought you here. It's about my team's star friends. They... They mean the world to me. I love them so much that I got scared they weren't gonna fit in okay or be happy at school. That's why I've been sort of spying on them ever since they came back. But it turns out they... I didn't need to worry. They're already having a great time. And now I feel bad that I didn't have it in me to believe in them in the first place. They've all grown so much, but I haven't changed since Operation Starfall. I'm still scheming up ways to fix by things by myself instead of having a little faith. You just need to believe! Y yeah, I know. I promise I'll try, but it might take me a little bit to get there. Huh. I feel better about talking. Uh, after talking it out with you, artist. Thanks. And, um, I want you to know that you're a really important friend to me, too. Aw, thanks, Penny. And that goes for Nimona as well. And even Arvin and Mer Maridon. You know, I don't normally like having people in my room. I can see why. <laughs> but you're an exception. Stop by for a chat or whatever anytime. Till our next confab, then. Hasta la vista. Oh, I love the Palafin fo uh, poster that she has. Dang it. There's a poster of Palafin. The Pelagic Protector. Oh, I, wa I want that poster, dude. That's so cool. Also, is that the Flash? <laughs> I know it's not, but like it kind of looks like it. Oh, and it's a Titan up there? Nice. Doesn't get any better than chilling in my room with my VBs. Feel free to stay a while. Yeah, they seem to be having a good time. Uh, except for the fact that this place is, like, filled with boxes. Empty boxes of instant food are scattered around the kitchen. I would expect no less. Oh, boy. There's tons of cardboard boxes from buying things online. Again, I don't think I would expect anything else. Can I interact with the Pokemon? It seems to me that there's a Pokemon in here that is missing. Although you, you can only have six in the party, so... I guess, but still. It seems to me... 
that there is a missing Glaceon and there's a missing Espeon. Yeah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> Only two of my favorite evolutions. It's fine. Not a problem. All right, now for Arvin's last talk, I think. Hello. Bing bong. Hi. Gah! I was so focused. I, I was focused so hard. I didn't even notice you, bud. Heh. <laughs> I know, I know. Pretty rare to, uh, to see me actually studying, right? But I'm actually pretty good at... Uh, I'm... Uh, uh, I'm at a pretty good stopping point. How about a break? I could use a change of scenery. Oh, now to your room? <laughs> oh, hey! It's actually pretty nice in here. You got a nice microwave in here. You have a crock pot. Of course, you have lots of vegetables. Oh, you have you you have a picture of Mabostiff when he was just a uh, mastiff. Oh, that's cute. Well, what do you think? Welcome to Shay Arvin. Well, Shay Arvin and Mabostiff, really. It's <laughs> it's surprisingly clean. I don't want to. I mean, I kind of want to say that, but at the same time, that's really rude. It screams Arvin with all the food and the microwave. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Wait, what screams Arvin to you? The Mastiff picture over there, for starters. And all the manga on the shelves. <laughs> anyway, uh, about the reason you saw me studying in the classroom like that. I went back and read the pages about the Herba Mystic in the Violet book again. It made me remember how things were back when my Bostiff was all weak and everything couldn't seem to do anything to help him, and boy, it sure didn't feel good. Of course, I'm really glad I was able to find all the Urban Mystica together with you. But there's gotta be other people who are still suffering the same way I was back then, worrying about their Pokemon that are sick or hurt. So, so I, uh, don't laugh, okay? I've decided that I, I'm gonna become a cook. Not laughing over here. Kind of expected that. I'm going to make super healthy f food. Bursting with the full of the stuff Pokemon need to feel great. I'm sure you can pull it off. Yeah, and thanks. I knew I could count on you to be all supportive like that. The culinary world may be a bit different, but I swear I'm going to be just as famous as my dad. So, I guess I can close the book on my little hunt to find myself. It's time to start a new chapter. One that's all about working toward my new dream. And hey, feel free to stop by my room anytime. My boss will be, uh, will always be glad to see you. Oh, there's that, there's that adorable puppy smile. My Bostov is doing great. Thanks to all the hard work you and me put in, of course. Ah, oh, what a good boy. I just I just want to give him all the face rubs and the ear pats. He's just great. And of course, there's all of this food and stuff, the fresh ingredients. Oh, I can't interact with the microwave. This kitchen, kitchen is clearly used with great care. Of course. So, what's with the map? It's the map of uh, Paldea. There are notes stuck to it about the places Arvin's investigated. Ah, neat. It's a framed piss, uh, picture of Mastiff. Oh, that is cute. Oh, I meant to, uh, look at the book. No? Okay. 
That was good. I'm I'm so glad there were these after uh after story talks and stuff. That actually adds a lot to each of the character stories and I really like that. Let's go to the main hall. Like honestly, I think the characters in this game are really really solid like I really like all of them okay uh so now that all that's done uh I mean the only there are things to do there is doing the tournament again but I'm not sure if there's anything worth doing the tournament for. Like, I'm gonna have to look up some of the rewards for doing the tournament again. I might actually do that right now. Pokemon Violet Ace Tournament. Ace Academy Tournament Rewards. Bing Bong. Bing bong. Ding dong. All right, we got the academy cap. I forgot about that. I'm going to check that quick. And I I never mentioned this, uh, but I did switch out some of my accessories, like my shoes and my fingerless mittens. Like, I just bought some of these from one of the stores. Uh... What does this look like? No. No, that's not doing it for me. Not doing it for me at all. Okay, well that was neat. Okay, let's let's look at some of this stuff. Uh Okay, that tells me nothing. Good job, sight. Oh, the terror orb is recharged at the end of the bat each battle. I didn't know that. Oh, the first the first tournament opponents are set, but then after that they're randomized. Okay. So they lied to me. Good. Great. Okay, so I can get things like a random apricorn ball, uh an ability patch? That would be really good. Random nature mint. That would also be good. Okay, so it's not bad. The ability patch would be really good. Okay, that would that would be not bad stuff to battle for, but considering Hmm. Considering it's four battles all in a row, uh, this seems like it's more so something to do on my own time. How many classes are there left? Uh, Battle Studies, Art, and Home Act. I have no idea what art is going to be like. And honestly, uh, I'm not sure that I feel like I need to do those on stream. <sighs> Big stretch. I might cut it early because I mostly just wanted to do the tournament today and then all of those talks and stuff. 
Whoops. <laughs> Something fell over there. Uh, nothing broke though, which is good. Uh, boo -boo -boo -boo. what was I saying? Oh right, I would. I mainly just wanted to do the tournament, and I didn't know how long that would take. And then all of those talks after the tournament uh, took a fair amount of time. It was good. They were good talks. I really liked all of those talks. And they were good character building stuff. Whoa. Bottle cap? Dang. Apparently you can use those to, like, increase stats or something. I need to look into that more. I never used the bottle caps personally, but, uh... Yeah, apparently those are good for something. I, I need to look into that more. But yeah, all of those talks were good character building stuff. Like, and... I really liked it. They were good. I'm really glad those were in the game. Now, this may be the last time I'm streaming Pokemon Violet on YouTube. But if I feel like it, I might do Shiny Hunting on Twitch sometime. And then upload that VOD up to YouTube. But most of the Shiny Hunting that I will be doing will probably be off stream. Like, completely off stream. Because I, that's, that's sort of a just chatting kind of thing. Just chat about all kinds of different topics while you're just waiting to get a shiny Pokemon. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not good with coming up with just topics on fly. A soothe ball. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not good at to uh, coming up with just random topics on the fly. That's why most of my streams are gaming related. Because I can let the game talk for me. And then I can give insightful commentary about what's happening inside the game. But, yeah, this... M I might cut it in just a minute. For <laughs> this stream. Not a super long stream. But I really enjoyed it playing today. And now I'm glad I can finally do those six-star raids. Although, uh, I'm not sure my Pokemon are ready for that. Even if I am. So I'll have to train my Pokemon. Although, really, I can just... I, I have, like, a bazillion... Uh, wrong button. I have, like, a bazillion experience candies. And you get experience candies, like, that many from just doing raid dens. So I can just keep doing raid dens all day if I want. Like, the lower level ones, so then I can raise my Pokemon up to be able to conquer the higher level ones. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun playing through Pokemon Violet. And I am really glad I got this game. I've said this numerous times already but after sword and shield i wasn't sure that i'd be able to enjoy a pokemon game like this again but man this has been a really fun game a really really fun game you know what let's end this with a pokemon battle we haven't been in a pokemon battle for a bit i'm sure i'm gonna wipe the floor with you but But who cares? I'm going to destroy you and your drowsy. Shadow Claw. <laughs> yeah. You don't know who you're messing with, kid. Giraffe egg. Oh, please. Bitter blade. Maybe raining, but this is still a powerful move. Or powerful enough, anyways. Rodrigo the student. There's nothing particularly cool about me. Yeah, you just have a giraffe rig and a drowsy. Nothing cool about that. Don't you think it would be cool to have a parent that's famous? Yeah, uh, go ask Garvin. Go ask how he feels about it. 
Ah. Uh, poor Arvin, though, dude. But I'm glad he's doing a lot better and his character, like, and story improved. Like, man, they did, like, so good with his story. I, it's, it's, I'm just really happy about the story in this. As well as the exploration. Like, both the exploration and the story have been really good in this game. As well as just the characters. Like, not just the the main three that are student friends, but the, the gym leaders as well. I really like all of the gym leaders. Except for maybe, like, a couple that were just... Didn't really leave a strong impression. Like, uh... The, the chef bug gym leader person, I don't remember her name. I'm, I'm sorry, but she didn't leave a strong impression. Uh, her. Doesn't tell me her name. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, most everyone else left a really strong impression. Like, all of the Team Stars leaders, they left a really strong impression. Most of the gym leaders did. And I just, I really like how this game turned out. Even if there is some performance issues. But honestly, I, I don't even see much of the performance issues when I'm playing this game. I mostly see, ooh, fun Pokemon game. Like, I'm, I, I could just keep playing this all day, and honestly, I'm probably going to play this more off-stream after I end. I wonder, I wonder if there's anything that, that will be said once I go back home. This would actually be a good way to end the, the stream, and... Probably the whole playthrough. Whoa! Okay, Squawkabilly. Hi, hello. I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to jump up here because I thought there was an item. There's no item here. I already got that item. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's go say hi. Hello. That's all you have to say? Yeah, a nice nap is excellent. Mm-hmm. I wonder if there's anything up here. Doesn't look like it. I never noticed the Krogunk ball. Oh, that's fun. Not gonna talk about the Krogunk ball? Oh. Honestly, a lot of this stuff that's, like, in the game, in, like, the backgrounds and stuff, like, that Palafin poster, I would love to have a Palafin poster like that. That would be great. Actually, I'm curious. Now that got me thinking. Is... Nimona had her gym badges and her, uh award posted like or not posted but like uh put up in her room did i get my stuff put up in my room like i know you can't decorate your dorm which is a shame but i'm wondering if that stuff got put up into the room Hello. No, I'm good. I'll keep the treasures for myself. Your dorm room. I like that I can visit my friend's dorm rooms, though. That's fun. No? Nothing fun or interesting to interact with? It's a photo of you and your treasured friends to remember your journeys by. What? 
But that's a that's a gray square. Really? That's supposed to be okay. Here's my hot plate, my personal kitchen. That leads to the bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. <laughs> yup. Nah, I'm good. Okay. I think I'm gonna end now. I've been stalling for long enough. Uh, thanks for watching. I need to figure out the rest of my schedule for the week. Because we're... I don't know for sure that we're looking at clips tomorrow from 2022. Uh... I might. Because, uh... <laughs> I can't think of anything else I want to do. And also, it would be a good way to look back at the year and in a positive light. Because I've already said on Twitter, uh... 2022 was not my best year. It was really not good in a lot of ways. But, uh... Looking at the positives would be fun. Having a good look at the good clips, the good times that we had. That would be fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, and tune in tomorrow on Twitch for some kind of stream. Probably clips. Probably maybe something else. I don't know. Thanks for watching, and I hope you had a... Or, yeah, 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 maybe a bit better. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.